Welcome to the University of Scranton's new student orientation presentation on technology services. In this brief presentation, we'll highlight the wealth of technology resources and the assistance available to all students attending classes. The Planning and Information Resources Division is proud to provide students with the tools necessary for a rewarding and enjoyable experience using technology while here on campus. In this presentation, we'll highlight these topics. ResNet, or Royal Air, our campus networks, myscranton.edu, our information portal for all University of Scranton information, television and phone service, Royal Card, our ID card and much more, the Technology Support Center, a full service center for all things technical, smart computing, protecting our information, our identity, and our privacy, and a few final thoughts. As one of the most wired universities in the East, the University of Scranton supports new technologies for computers, smartphones, tablets, and most other internet-capable devices. Doing an assignment, reviewing today's lesson, staying in touch with friends, or just browsing the internet, Scranton offers wireless connections throughout campus in a beautiful and comfortable setting. The go-to place for getting help on any technical issue from helping new students connect to our network, to the hardware and software service repairs, to answering questions on systems and components, the TSC is the one-stop facility to get students up and running when tech problems arise. Labs throughout campus are designed to give students the best and latest information in an up-to-date technical environment, using the latest technologies including dual screens, lecture capture, and enhanced audio, the interaction between student and instructor is greatly facilitated. Our multi-purpose photo identification card, Royal Card, is also a library card, a meal card, an access key to many buildings on campus, and if a deposit account is set up, a debit card which can be used as a substitute for cash on campus and at some off-campus merchants as well. Desire to Learn is our learning management system that allows students to access information such as the course syllabus, course grades, and class assignments. Lecture capture is available in selected buildings and a number of faculty have elected to include their lecture video in these course materials. ResNet is the University of Scranton's computer network that provides direct access to the university campus data network and the internet to students living in university-owned housing on campus and off campus. All devices connected to our network must have a university-approved antivirus program installed prior to joining ResNet and conform to our computing policies. These can be found at ResNet features unlimited internet and email for every student, high-speed gigabit ethernet backbone, access to desire to learn online course tool, search and view educational resources such as the University of Scranton's library online catalog and electronic scholarly journals, view grades and transcripts, check class schedule, access financial aid information, authentication and remediation software for protecting students and computers, Technology Support Center for questions and troubleshooting assistance. All from the convenience of your own room with no phone bills or other charges for the amount of time you spend connected. ResNet is a free service offered by the university for the benefit of its students. Connection support is available by contacting the Technology Support Center at 570-941-4357. The ResNet website can be found at www.scranton.edu slash ResNet. Here, you can find detailed information and learn about policies for acceptable use, our student laptop program, and links to information about our wireless network, and also where to get help if needed. Gaming devices are welcomed, but network hubs, switches, etc. are not allowed. Royal Air our official wireless network. The wireless network provides a means of accessing web-based university instructional and informational resources and the internet without connecting to a port using an ethernet cable. You must have a wireless network adapter installed on your laptop computer. Students are encouraged to bring PCs or Macs, tablets, phones, and other devices which can easily be connected to Royal Air while on campus. 
Cisco ISE is the process we use to connect to our computers. When prompted, students enter their login information, click the login button, and are immediately connected to our wireless network. For more information on our official wireless network, Royal Air, go to here you can find out about the many wireless access points around campus and links to the policies that must be followed to use our networks. Some important items to consider when using our networks. Peer-to-peer -peer file sharing software is not allowed. The university fully complies with all copyright laws and regulations, university, local, state, and federal. Printing is available in many labs on campus and in the Weinberg Memorial Library. A university-approved antivirus program must be installed on all computers using our networks. Getting assistance with your laptop computers. The university is an authorized Dell and Apple warranty repair center. Support offered includes warranty repairs for students who purchased a Dell or Mac laptop with a valid warranty. Hardware warranty repairs are available at the Technology Support Center and Alumni Memorial Hall. Hours are Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Students must remain with their laptop while service is being performed. Other laptop services include resolution of ResNet connection issues, virus, spyware, or adware removal, configuration of wireless internet connection, software-related problems. Should students need assistance with any technology-related issue while on campus, a call to the Technology Support Center at 570-941-HELP is the first step. my.scranton.edu, the University of Scranton's online portal for students, faculty, and staff, is our one-stop source for university services and information. Students, both on campus and online, can use the portal for class registration, financial aid, paying tuition, accessing our learning management system, grades, calendars, announcements, and much more. To access our My Scranton portal, open a supported browser, Firefox, Chrome, Safari, or Internet Explorer, and type my.scranton.edu into the address bar. When opened, students are greeted by the My Scranton login page. Here, students can log into the portal using their username and password. Once inside the portal, students will find a wealth of information using the many links under each tab. As students enter the portal, they first come into the Home tab, our default view. Information is arranged in segments specific to its content. For example, campus announcements on the Home tab inform students of events and activities on campus. Other segments include links to many university offices and directories. Icons appearing on the top right banner of the window are links that include email, learning management system, Royal Sync, and others. The other tabs or portlets include student, containing information and links to many locations on campus including financial aid, registration, laundry view, and more, all relevant to student needs. News, containing links to university publications, student club calendar, and the university calendar. Library, containing library resources, catalog search, library hours, credo search, uniprint, and more. Office 365 email is available to all students and is accessed through the portal using the email icon link at the top of the My Scranton window. Students can send and receive emails with a capacity of 20 gigabytes of space. The calendar is another feature of Office 365, which can help students keep schedules, appointments, reminders, and contacts easily and efficiently. Desire to Learn is our learning management system where faculty and students can collaborate on coursework. D2L provides students with an interface for accessing the content of their online courses, including the syllabus, course calendars, lessons, an assignment drop box, quizzes, and discussion forums. Students can access Desire to Learn through the myscranton.edu portal. Financial aid information is available on the Student tab and also Student Links. 
Students and parents can check on status of student accounts, awards, amounts, etc. Grades can be accessed online through myscranton.edu. Students can log in using their University of Scranton username and password. Students can register for classes through the My Scranton portal. Students and parents can pay tuition, room and board, and fees using e-billing and e-payment. For more information, please contact the Bursar's Office. Royal Sync is an online club management tool accessed through the myscranton.edu portal. Royal Sync allows students to browse through the student organizations, service events, and other campus programs to find opportunities to match specific interests. Not only does it provide students the ability to check out campus-wide events, but it also allows them to keep up with activities and events pertaining to a single club or organization. Some other highlights include a to-do list tab, which makes it easier to manage and organize upcoming club events, as well as a polling feature, which can be used for member surveys or voting purposes within the club. When first logging into the myscranton.edu portal, students will see the Emergency Notification System screen. Here, students will enter a contact telephone number that will be used in case of any campus emergency or weather-related delays or cancellations. Students can choose to be contacted by phone or text message, or both. A word about passwords in my.scranton.edu. Students can find several areas of the portal where passwords can be changed. It is recommended to change your password periodically. When creating your password, it must be at least nine characters and should contain a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols. If one is hacked, all your university information may be compromised. Never give your password to anyone else. The university will never ask students to divulge their password. Third-party parental access. A student can elect to grant access to a third party, such as a parent or guardian, to specific information such as their class schedule, grades, transcripts, and financial aid information. The student creates a separate username and password and manages the access to this information. Parents do not have access to a student's myscranton.edu account. While most students use their cell phones to make calls to friends, family, and others, telephone landlines are available to students residing in university-owned housing. Verizon's Centrex service is our service provider. There is an install charge and a monthly bill as well. For detailed information on setting up a landline, go to The campus-wide integrated network serves academic and administrative buildings as well as residence halls and some on-campus houses. Currently, the video network operates as an on-campus cable television provider. In addition to channels carrying regular television programming, the video network also has local channels for university programming. The list of channels include many of the most popular TV offerings, sports, news, business, movies, and more, along with local channels and two University of Scranton channels. Gaming consoles are allowed and should be hardwired to the network. For more information on television service available to students and a list of channels available, go to... There is only one television set allowed in any student housing room. Within this limited area, room space is a consideration when deciding on the size of a television to bring. Students should discuss with their roommates who is to bring the television prior to coming to campus. Royal Card, our ID card, and much more. The Royal Card is our multi-purpose photo ID card for all students, faculty, and staff at the University of Scranton. It provides easy access to the university resources, and packs a wealth of innovative technology in one powerful and convenient card. The Royal Card serves as your University of Scranton personal ID. Carry it at all times. The Royal Card office is located in the Alumni Memorial Hall. It also acts as a meal card, used at any dining facility. Library card, used at the Weinberg Memorial Library for any library functions. Access card for buildings on campus, used to access residence halls, several academic buildings on campus, and 24-hour access to the Pro VR room at the library. Debit card. A substitute for cash on campus if the deposit account is set up. Deposit accounts are set up when a faculty, student, or staff member completes a contract and returns it with a minimum $25 initial deposit. After that, deposits can be made in person 
through the Royal Card Online Office, through the mail, at the Bursar's Office in St. Thomas Hall, and at the Royal Card Value Transfer Machines, located in the Naples Center and the Weinberg Memorial Library. Use the Royal Card at all university dining facilities, university bookstore, campus vending machines and laundry facilities, basketball games, university printing services, Weinberg Memorial Library, copy machines and internet printing, parking the, the calls and fines, student health center, off-campus merchants, including CVS and Northern Lights. If you lose your Royal Card, you should report a lost or stolen Royal Card immediately to the Royal Card office in Alumni Memorial Hall at 570-941. 4357. The card will be deactivated and you will be issued a new card. There will be a $10 charge for each replacement card. You can also report a card lost through the Royal Card online office at www.scranton.edu slash royalcard. Then click the Royal Card online office link. The Technology Support Center is here to assist in the use of the University of Scranton's computing systems, software, networks, and facilities in a timely, accurate, and professional manner. The TSC is located on the first floor of Alumni Memorial Hall. Open seven days per week except when classes are not in session. A call to the Technology Support Center at 570-941-4357 is the first step to problem solving with any technology related issue. The TSC can also be reached by email tech support at scranton.edu. For students online and using social media, the TSC is on online, Twitter, and Facebook. Services offered assistance with passwords technical assistance for computer hardware and software, virus removal, assistance accessing the wireless networks, assist with laptop problems, support for university and telephone and television systems, royal card support and services, myscranton.edu assistance, and more tech-related assistance. Work-study employment opportunities are available at the TSC. The Technology Support Center has available work-study, student consultants positions. These positions range from 8 to 20 hours per week and are paid an hourly wage. Students will have an opportunity to work with emerging technologies and gain invaluable experience in information technologies. For complete information on these rewarding positions, students can visit the TSC website or stop by the Technology Support Center in Alumni Memorial Hall. The University of Scranton works very hard to keep our information, our networks, and our equipment safe from unauthorized use by malicious actors. Our experienced and knowledgeable information technology staff use the latest security methods to keep our systems secure and working. However, students can play a vital role in our security efforts by using smart computing. Smart computing is keeping aware of the threats students face when online and knowing what to do to help to stay secure. Some of the issues students need to consider are these. Phishing, the act of attempting to acquire sensitive information such as usernames, passwords, and credit card details by posing as someone or some entity we know. Communications purporting to be from popular social media sites, banks, online payment processors, or IT administrators are commonly used to lure unsuspecting people. Phishing emails may contain links to websites that are infected with malware, Phishing is typically carried out by email spoofing or instant messaging, and it often directs users to enter details at a fake website whose look and feel are almost identical to the legitimate one. One of the most common ways your devices become infected with malware is through downloads in our email accounts. Extra care must be taken when a site offers a download that appears too good to be true. It usually is. If you don't know the sender and or a download is offered, delete the message. Be cautious of links. Getting users to go to a website containing malware, viruses, and other harmful data is easy if the links appearing in that email or on a web page makes it seem innocent or beneficial to the user. Don't click on links in emails or on web pages you visit that seem suspicious or that don't seem to work with the other information on the page. Facebook or other social media. 
Personal information you post to Facebook or other social media may be online forever. As information is transferred through the internet, your data can be picked up by many other sources looking for information just like yours. Even though you may remove it from Facebook, it may now be in many other places on the web unknown to you. Only post what you feel is safe and that it will not expose your personal information to people you wouldn't want to have it. Browsers. Many of the most popular browsers make it convenient to users to have their usernames and passwords stored in the browser so a quick login can be achieved. Along with the history of the pages you have visited, these items are not secure and can be hacked easily. It's a good idea to have your browser set to not store any of your identification or web history. Browsers have a security privacy setting that will erase all history. All browsers also have a setting to remember passwords. Do not check that box! Peer-to-peer -peer software. The University of Scranton fully complies with copyright laws and regulations and regulates the use of peer-to-peer -peer file sharing activities on its network, which can be illegal. P2P file sharing programs will be detected by our network and access to the network will be withheld. As new students coming to the University of Scranton with their own computer equipment, all P2P software must be removed if it is already on computers prior to joining our network. Some of the best ways to help keep our information, networks, and equipment safe are listed here. Updates. Students should make sure all critical updates for their computers and other devices are installed on those devices. Having your computers set to automatically download and install updates is the easiest and best way to stay current. All programs existing on your devices should have the latest updates for that version of the program installed as well. Programs such as Sukunia for Windows and Metaquark for Mac are available free on the internet, which will keep your system updated automatically or can help you update your programs as needed. Antivirus, anti-malware programs. All computers entering our network should have a university-approved antivirus program installed prior to entering our network. Recommendations would be, for Windows computers, Microsoft Security Essentials, for Macs, Sophos Antivirus for Mac. Both are free to download from their respective sites. Strong and Private Passwords The University of Scranton requires all students to have a strong password to gain access to our network and to myscranton.edu to our information portal. Passwords should be at least nine characters long, uppercase and lowercase letters, letters and number combinations, and mix in symbols like the dollar sign, the pound symbol, and the and sign. Students should never use their university password for any other login purpose, especially on social media. If a site like Facebook is hacked with the same password being used, the hacker now has access to all the students' personal data, grades, financial data, and contact information through myscranton.edu and email. When a device has been detected by our network to have a virus present and attempts to spread the virus on the network, it will be disconnected from the network, including internet and email, until all viruses have been removed and the TSC verifies that the computer is clean. This is done to reduce the number of virus infections on the network. The Technology Support Center will remove the virus from student computers and arrange for the computers to be put back on the network. We hope this presentation has been informative and helpful for new students joining the University of Scranton community. The Planning and Information Division is here to help students with any technology issues they may encounter or answer any tech-related questions that may arise during their educational journey. Some important university technology websites. The Technology Support Center. ResNet, our campus residential network. Our information portal. Computing Policies The Technology Support Center is our one-stop center for technology-related issues located on the first floor of Alumni Memorial Hall. Telephone 570-941-4357 or 4357 from any on-campus phone. Email Website Follow the TSC on social media, Facebook, and Twitter. The University of Scranton on social media, our social media hub page, Facebook, Twitter.
Twitter, YouTube, Flickr, Foursquare.